Plastic waste, such as bottles and bags, is often improperly discarded. This leads to accumulation of plastic waste in streets and public areas. A significant portion of discarded plastics ends up in landfills. Improper disposal represents the initial stage of plastic pollution. This stage highlights the visible impact of human actions on the environment. Accumulation in the environment can lead to further degradation and dispersal of plastics. Rainwater runoff from urban areas carries plastic debris. This runoff flows into rivers and waterways. Rivers act as conduits, transporting plastic pollution. Ultimately, this plastic waste reaches the oceans. Larger plastic items in the ocean undergo a breakdown process. This breakdown is facilitated by environmental factors such as sunlight. Wave action also contributes to the fragmentation of plastics. The fragmentation process results in smaller plastic pieces. These smaller pieces are known as microplastics. Microscopic visualization reveals the presence of microplastics in the ocean. Microplastics are small plastic particles found in the marine environment. These particles are often the result of the breakdown of larger plastic debris. They are also directly released into the environment as microbeads or fibers. Microplastics are now pervasive in ocean water. Their widespread presence poses a threat to marine life and ecosystems. Microplastics are often mistaken for food by small marine organisms. Plankton and small fish commonly ingest these microplastics. This ingestion marks the beginning of the bioaccumulation process. Bioaccumulation refers to the accumulation of substances, like microplastics, in an organism. As smaller organisms are consumed by larger ones, microplastics transfer up the food chain. This process leads to increasing concentrations of microplastics in higher level predators. Microplastics are ingested by smaller fish in aquatic environments. These contaminated smaller fish become prey for larger predatory fish. The larger fish consume the microplastics present in the smaller fish's bodies. This process demonstrates how plastic contamination is transferred up the food chain. Predator fish accumulate microplastics from their contaminated prey. This accumulation poses risks to the health of the predator fish and potentially to humans who consume them. Microplastics are ingested by fish in aquatic environments. These microplastics accumulate within the tissues of the fish. Humans then catch and consume these contaminated fish. This consumption introduces microplastics into the human diet. Thus, a cycle is completed where plastics enter the human food chain. Microplastics are ingested through various sources, including contaminated seafood. Upon consumption, these microplastics enter the human digestive system. The presence of microplastics raises concerns about potential health impacts. These concerns stem from the potential for microplastics to release harmful chemicals. The long-term effects of microplastic exposure on human health are still under investigation. Further research is needed to fully understand the risks associated with microplastic ingestion. Scientific tests have detected microplastics in a variety of food items. Contaminated food items include common produce like fruits and vegetables. Microplastics are also found in processed goods such as table salt. Bottled water has been identified as another source of microplastic contamination. Plastic materials can release harmful chemicals into their surroundings. This leaching process introduces toxins into the environment. Plastics also have the ability to absorb pollutants from the environment. This absorption makes plastic act as a dirty sponge. Therefore, plastic accumulates and spreads toxins. Ingesting plastics can pose significant health risks due to their chemical composition. Some plastics contain endocrine disruptors, which interfere with hormonal systems. Hormone disruption can lead to a variety of adverse health effects. Further research is needed to fully understand the long-term consequences of plastic ingestion. Plastic pollution poses a significant threat to marine ecosystems. Marine animals often mistake plastic debris for food sources. Turtles are particularly vulnerable, frequently ingesting plastic bags. Ingestion of plastics can lead to choking, starvation, and internal injuries in marine life. 
Seabirds may also feed plastic pieces to their offspring, causing developmental problems. Plastic waste is overwhelming natural environments, including oceans and forests. This pollution highlights the extensive degradation of ecosystems. The scale of plastic accumulation poses a significant threat to wildlife and habitats. Addressing plastic waste is crucial for environmental preservation and sustainability. Individuals are actively making choices to minimize the reliance on single-use plastics. A common practice is the adoption of reusable water bottles, replacing disposable plastic ones. Similarly, reusable shopping bags are favored over single-use plastic bags at stores. Consumers are also opting for products with minimal or eco-friendly packaging. These conscious decisions collectively contribute to a reduction in plastic waste generation. Proper recycling practices are crucial for minimizing the environmental impact of plastic waste. Correct sorting of plastic waste is an essential first step in the recycling process. Effective processing techniques are necessary to transform plastic waste into reusable materials. Recycling reduces landfill waste and conserves resources by reusing plastic materials. Community outreach programs play a crucial role in raising awareness about plastic pollution. These programs facilitate information sharing regarding the detrimental effects of plastics on the environment. A key objective is to encourage individuals to adopt responsible practices to minimize plastic usage. Emphasis is placed on the idea that addressing plastic pollution requires collective responsibility and action.